Hey Anna, how are you? Uh, my name is Leonard. I'm 35 years old and I'm from New York City, United States. Um, first off, I want to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, what's a little strange about this whole situation is that I mostly, unless I'm just not finding them, but I am finding more people in the UK doing more to raise awareness about what's going on with this COVID scam than people here in the United States and particularly here in New York City because uh, New York City is like, was the epicenter allegedly of this virus where Governor Cuomo almost literally had 11,000 elderly, pe elderly people killed, you know? So, you know, we had the most stringent lockdowns, but things seem to be loosening up. They are allowing us to do certain things now now, everything I just said, there were a number of problems with. One of which is this idea that government has the power to take away and allow us to do certain things. Now, one, for lack of a better phrase, good thing that did come out of these uh, draconian lockdowns is it gave me and many others time to think about everything. And one thing that I found particularly important is that politics... It's just a silly game, okay? It doesn't matter if you're on the right. It doesn't matter if you're on the left. We are all being played right now. I guarantee you that not one of us believed for a second that we would ever be locked down to any capacity, and especially not in the United States and in the uh, in the UK, okay? It's, uh, I realize that the virus has also become extremely political. You know, you got the left who wants lockdowns forever and you got the right who allegedly wants to set us free now another reason why i say politics is complete bs is because you have uh people who you know say well the left is worse than the right and the right's left and worse than the left well to the people on the right i say we have been played as well i'm willing to believe that a lot of people on the right are the ones that saw right through the nonsense and there's a few people on the left but i want to leave the the politics out of it for the most part i just wanted to set a foundation the right has let all of us down as well they did absolutely nothing to stop the left from progressing on this grand scheme to get everybody vaccinated okay so this plan or you know trump is better than biden i think we're all in trouble no matter what if we don't start pushing back OK, because it's real easy to want to pick a side and say, well, hey, I live in Texas. This is a red state. We're free down here. But to that, I say, and this is to all of us across the planet, when they allow us to go back to normal and let's just say this vaccine thing with Bill Gates and them doesn't work out. The battle really is not over. The power to lock down citizens should not exist. The answer to these problems is not to just get rid of who's in office now and put in somebody new. Our liberties were taken from us by force. Okay, we had no say so in these lockdown orders. It was just put on us and you have to follow. And I think the most insidious part of it all is how citizens have turned on one another. You know, you had that term Karen going around out there where you have people telling on others, you know, going out of their, their way to harass other people because they're not wearing a mask or they're not wearing a mask properly. Cause you know, you have some people that wear it, you know, right here with their noses out. And I think the power that the government has, I think other dictators in the past would only dream of the kind of power that they have today. And it's all based on fear. All right, it's just the media putting numbers out there that are completely meaningless. You know, they talk about cases, 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 but nobody is really dying of the virus. Or you could probably say dying with the virus. People probably die with it. But again, you got to catch the wording. They usually use coronavirus now. It's not really COVID-19 as much. And we all know, well, we all have learned that coronaviruses could just be the common cold. It's a family of viruses. So anybody can test positive for that. 
And also, if we were to test for the amount of things that are running through our bodies right now, you'd be amazed at what you have. And this leads me to another point. It's like, did our immune system suddenly stop working on, on January 1st, 2020? Like, did all the evolution of the human species just stop right there and we just lost our immune systems? And this silly idea that we think that we can hide from a virus is just laughable to me. But I don't want this video to go on too long. Uh, just to wrap it on up, I say, when we are free, the battle is not over. It really just started. Laws must change. The ability for any government to lock down its citizens must be removed permanently. And number two, we really need to start fighting back because if we look at what's going on in Australia, that's probably the testing ground to what's going to come to the West. But again, Anna, thank you for this opportunity.